This is going to be the shortest video on AMC and the AMC short squeeze on all of YouTube because guess what? I don't give a fuck about subscribers. I don't give a fuck about watch time or views or any of that bullshit because none of my livelihood is resting on that. So here it is. How do you know that the AMC short squeeze, the fucking Moaz, baby, the fucking Moaz, how do you know that it started? It's really fucking simple. When you look at your account, and that shit has 10x, 20x, 50x, a fucking hundred, a fucking thousand x. That's how you know that the fucking Moaz has started. All these YouTubers who keep putting out video after video after video. The Moaz is coming. The Moaz is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's around the corner. It's just in, it's next day. It's tomorrow. It's Friday. It's fucking fuck all these people. Okay. None of them have a fucking clue when it has started or when it is going to start you i'm putting this on you because you gotta fucking own this shit this is what we need more in this fucking world and in this life is we need people to take fucking ownership of their shit when your account shows that your fucking shit went from Whatever your average is, $30, $20, $5. If you're like me, you've been buying since last January. You started buying at $5. And I averaged up a little bit. But when your account shows that that shit is just fucking going to the goddamn moon, that's when the Moaz has started, okay? Don't listen to any of these YouTubers. They're trying to... They're trying to fucking hook you like a fish because their livelihood depends... On you watching their shit. Okay? Fuck those guys. Fuck them. Fuck their views. Fuck their subscribers. Fuck all that shit. You ever notice? This is going to probably upset some people. Because there's a lot of Lou fans out there. There's a lot of them. I know there's a lot of them. And there's some also haters as well. It's like anything. There's going to be a divide. There's going to be some people that love. And some people that hate. But Lou... You ever notice that, what was it, like two and a half weeks ago, Lou puts out a video that he's done. He's done on, he's done making videos about AMC. He's done. He's fucking done. He even changed, he even fucking changed his YouTube channel name from Lou versus Wall Street to Lou on Demand. Lou's got a plan. Lou's a man with a plan. He's got a plan because his livelihood fucking depends on the shit. You don't think Lou has a plan? then you're fucked. You're fucking stupid. If you don't think Lou has a plan, he has a plan. He's already building his succession plan to post AMC Squeeze. If you guys don't fucking see that, then you're fucking stupid. The writing is on the wall, okay? He knows. Lou is not a dummy. He knows that his livelihood depends on this shit. And he needs to make a succession plan after this shit is done. So if you don't fucking see that, which I've seen two and a half, what is it? Yeah, about two and a half weeks ago, Lou makes a video that the squeeze is done. It's fucking done. Everything's in play. Everything's set. Everything's ready to go. I don't need to, I don't need to make another video on AMC. I'm fucking done making videos on AMC. I'm fucking done. That's what he said. And you can fact check me. Fact fucking check me motherfucker go back and look at his videos if he doesn't delete them they're still up he might fucking delete them after seeing this shit because i'm calling you the fuck out lou he made that video saying he's done making videos on amc but what did he continue to do he went on to make what what, what are we at now i don't i lost count we're at 20 fucking 25 30 i don't even know anymore how many fucking videos post lou saying he's done making videos on amc how many fucking videos has he made on amc since he said he was done making videos on amc like how do you guys not see that shit how do you not fucking see that shit and it's like i said in the other video before i'll post a link right here be careful who you take your advice from when you take your advice from people 
whose livelihood fucking depends on the very advice that they give you, whose interests are at stake, yours or theirs? Guys, just like we've seen through all this fucking COVID bullshit and this pandemic, question fucking everything. It does not make you crazy. It does not make you conspiracy theorist. It is healthy to question shit. Peep. Peep. <laughs> Keep people fucking accountable. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm saying. Just keep people fucking accountable. Okay? We're done. We're done until the next video, until I have another rant. Peace.